Up a man is a human rights activist from the United Arab Emirates. He is a husband to his wife Nadia, father to their four children. Ahmed was arrested in March 2017 on charges of using social media platforms to threaten public order and publish false and misleading information. He was found guilty and given a prison sentence in the UEA of 10 years, the first of which was in solitary confinement. He faced physical assaults, death threats, government surveillance. There's no access to a lawyer, very little, little, limited access to his family. It's his second period of imprisonment in the UEA. Amnesty and Human Rights Watch have called for his immediate release. As they note, all he has ever done is call for the UEA to be the tolerant progressive society it, it itself claims to be. Uh, in 2015, Mansour received the prestigious, prestigious Martin Ennels Award for Human Rights Defenders. And when I read all this, like Stephen, I had no idea what I could possibly stand up here and talk about until I found something else out about Ahmed. And that is that the people, it's a private company, it's a UEA company that were responsible for his surveillance and whose actions led to his imprisonment, where he is now, right now, he is in prison. And that fact, every time it comes to me, strikes me with horror. That a code word for him, and their code word for him was egress. And I'm a bird watcher, and I don't care who knows it. And it occurred to me that the egret, which Ahmed would have seen in the UEA, um, is a beautiful bird. And the people who gave him that code name know that an egret is a beautiful bird. And so this is the egret for Ahmed Mansour. I was startled to see you there on the slim, curving shoreline of the small Irish island where we have our holiday home. White, surrounded but alone, rare, beautiful, punched, and wrong. This was some years ago. Now you have spread to the Lincolnshire marshes I grew up beside, to Suffolk, to Kent, to Aberdeenshire, common as the carrion crow, so that each time I turn, the shock is a little diminished, the wonder lessened so that sometimes I don't even lift the binoculars to my face, which brings me shame. For you are still rare, pale ghost, as raindrops are rare, running down windows on soft days, rare as buttercups in summer meadows, as corros in the Louvre, as caresses from a lover, rare as eyes that see, lips that smile and grin and press and kiss and speak. For there are places you are not egret. Perhaps even the place you first came from all those centuries ago, before you sat up into the wind, spread your wings, and started your slow, twisting flight towards us. And I wrote that for Ahmed, and I spoke about Ahmed to some of my students in my classes over the last week, and one of them sent me this that they wanted to send to Ahmed. And I hope, I hope all the writers that we're talking about understand that people who care about them in the world, and it occurs to me that, that some writer talking about Ahmed might make him feel better, that, but that, that there are our students who are thinking about him, and that would make him feel even better than that. So my student wrote, bravery transcends borders, courage goes beyond a nation, and words hold the power of a storm. Speak yourself and witness the echo of democracy resonate around you.